Hey guys, it's Simi, and this is Pro Wrestling Unlimited. As it looks like, well, WWE could be moving pay-per-views off of the WWE Network and licensing them to other major, as they stated, streaming services. So this morning, WWE did their earnings call for the fourth quarter of 2019, talked about the financials and some projections for 2020. During this call, WWE did state that they are in talks to sell their rights to its pay-per-view events, which are currently available on their WWE Network service to quote-unquote another major streaming service, according to Vince McMahon. Vince stated the following, Well, we have a lot of options. We can continue as we are now with a free tier and a more enhanced paid tier. Right now, there's no better time to exercise the selling of our rights to all majors who, quite frankly, all majors are really clamoring for our content. So that could be a significant increase, obviously, in terms of revenue. Somebody actually asked Vince McMahon if that meant that maybe all pay-per-views except WrestleMania and Royal Rumble could be sold to these third parties where Vince stated. There's nothing. Obviously, the devil's in the details with any of these arrangements. But at this point, there's nothing that looks like it would be anything that stops us from doing any type of transactions with the network if we choose to. When the topic of incorporating ads into the WWE Network came up, Vince said that they're open to it, and there's the possibility of it, because if they keep going the way they do now, maybe they gotta think of different revenue streams. Finally, later in the call, Vince McMahon was asked that if there were any deals in place with other streaming services, when we could know about that, where Vince stated the following. Making reference to OTT and the interests of the major players, we'd be announcing that deal if we go that way, in the first quarter. That's how far along we are. So that would mean that if Vince is in talks with, say, let's just throw out some names here, a DAZN or an ESPN Plus to stream WWE pay-per-views, that he feels they're so far along that we could get something announced within the next couple of months, possibly before WrestleMania. So it's gonna be very interesting to see what route they do go. I mean, if you take the live pay-per-views off the WWE Network completely, that's gonna hurt the bottom line of the WWE Network, I think, in my opinion. Right now, WWE Network was announced at having 1.47 million subscribers, and say you take off the pay-per-views and put them over on ESPN+. Yes, WWE is gonna get a good amount of money from ESPN, but what does that do to your subscribers on the WWE Network? How many of them are going to just unsubscribe altogether to the WWE Network? And for ESPN, we're just using this as a, as a what if. We don't know if it's ESPN, but what if ESPN doesn't see the same, I guess you can say, back-end investment in their eyes from the fans? We know with the UFC deal, just last month alone for the Conor McGregor fight, they earned anywhere from half to 1 million new subscribers. I don't see that many people subscribing to an ESPN Plus service just to watch WWE pay-per-views. I can see a good amount, but not enough to where it'd be significant enough for people to actually go over there, pay the $4.99 for ESPN Plus, then pay the additional whatever they're gonna charge for the WWE pay-per-view because WWE fans are already conditioned to only pay $9.99. If they go the UFC route with ESPN Plus, and I'm gonna say this again, I'm using ESPN Plus as a hypothetical. If they go the ESPN route here, you pay $4.99 to have ESPN Plus, then you pay the normal market rate pay-per-view price of $50, $60. How many WWE fans are gonna actually go over and do this? After, since 2014, only paying $9.99 a month and getting everything. So it's going to be interesting to see what WWE does here. Vince McMahon said that if a deal is to be made, it will be announced here shortly, within the next couple of months probably. And now the question is, what happens? Where do they go? Would you guys follow? If WWE moved their stuff to, say, an ESPN Plus or a DAZN, would you then go pay for those services just to get the WWE pay-per-views? This is something that is going to have to be watched very closely. And if it does happen, well... Ugh. I don't know if whoever's paying WWE for this content on the streaming service is going to make enough back to make it compensationable for them. But that's going to do it for this episode. Remember to comment below, like and share this video, like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe right here on YouTube.